Good afternoon to everyone. Uh, a lot of excitement and energy in the room today, isn't it? I'm Michelle Baker Sanders, and I am the Secretary of North Carolina Department of Commerce. On behalf of Governor Cooper, our partners here at Cabarrus Economic Development, I want to welcome you to the Center of Innovation and Entrepreneurship. To all of the elected officials who are here with us today, the City of Concord, it is an honor to join all of you to celebrate our partnership for yet another economic development announcement. In fact, the first one in Cabarrus County this year, and it's a great one to add to the list of recent wins for Cabarrus County. Since 2017, more than 1,100 jobs and investments of $293 million have been announced in Cabarrus County. In the midst of the pandemic last year, we announced 488 jobs, new jobs, and $154 million in capital investments with projects for Golden Home International Incorporated in Concord and Prime Beverage Group in Kannapolis. So we're excited to keep this momentum going today. But days like this, as you know, are not just a coincidence. It's the result of thoughtful planning, leadership between government, communities, and businesses, and their partnerships to create more opportunities to propel North Carolina forward. Our success is also the result of our skilled workforce, pipeline of talent, that continues to attract new companies to all corners of our state. A strong, diverse workforce will help us grow our economy through innovation, which is one of the core foundation points of my vision for North Carolina's economy. Today's announcement will get us one step closer to making the vision a reality, and Governor Cooper's promise to build an economy that works for everyone. In fact, Governor Cooper believes that when we work together, we can truly build a North Carolina that indeed works for everyone. He wants to ensure that all North Carolinians have access to quality education, health care, and have more money in our pockets, I was going to say their pockets, but our pockets, <laughs> to live a more abundant and prosperous life for generations to come. Now, Governor Cooper is a native of Nash County and has worked as a dedicated public servant for more than 30 years. His service includes time at the General Assembly and serving North Carolina as Attorney General for 16 years. And since taking office as governor in January 2017, he has prioritized workforce development, creating more than 90,000 new jobs focused on ensuring that North Carolina's talent is ready for the jobs today and the future jobs. This achievement or these achievements are possible because of his commitment to boosting public education, revitalizing rural communities, and making sure that North Carolinians have the training to fill good paying jobs that require more skills. And working together, with the Department of Commerce and Economic Development and Workforce Partners across the state, he's ready to accomplish even more and is excited about this celebration today. He's always excited about the good news and economic wins for our state, just like the one that's about to be announced. So without further delay, please join me in welcoming our 75th Governor of North Carolina, Roy Cooper. Thank you. Well, thank you, Secretary Sanders, a strong businesswoman who we talked into government, and you've had a great first few months as Commerce Secretary on a great run already, so congratulations to that. Thank you to the hard work that's gone into this. A lot of the people who are in this room, Paige, I know with your economic development team, uh, Secretary San Sanders at the Department of Commerce, along with our Economic Development Partnership of North Carolina, Chris Chung, glad to see Senator Paul Newton here, the strong legislative work and cooperation that we get to be able to provide uh, the, the funding to, to do this. Uh, Chair Morris and uh, Mayor Dush, thank you so much for your strong support and uh, really grateful to have you here along with Kevin Monroe, who is the director of our intergovernmental affairs and who is based 
out of the Charlotte area. This is a great day for the city of Concord, <laughs> Barris County. So here we go. I am excited to announce that a joint venture between global beverage company Red Bull and filling company Rauch will establish a new state-of-the-art beverage manufacturing, filling, and distribution hub, investing more than $740 million in creating 413 new good-paying jobs right here in Concord, Cabarrus County, North Carolina. This effort has a projected impact of more than $1.8 billion over the next 12 years. And it is the largest economic development announcement in Cabarrus County history. And as you know, it's going to be located at the grounds in Concord, and it will be an innovative use of the old Philip Morris site. And I, I want to congratulate these companies for coming together on this joint venture, working with the local governments and local economic development efforts, working with the state of North Carolina, uh, pulling this all together to put these jobs in place. It's really an exciting time. I also want to, to talk about the fact that we are in North Carolina coming out of this pandemic in a strong way. Uh, the good paying jobs that we continue to attract, uh, the businesses that realize what a great state North Carolina is to live, raise a family, have an excellent quality of life, and to do business. Uh, we're, we're developing a global reputation for that kind of place, and that's exciting. And I think we've done the right things during this pandemic as well. When you look at North Carolina and compare it to other states, we rank low among the states in deaths per capita, but also job loss per capita. So it shows that we have made good quality decisions together as a team going forward. So I'm excited about that. And I'm going to encourage each and every one of you, we still got to get more people vaccinated. That's going to be an important part of this. So talk to your family, your friends, your, uh, make sure our family doctors are out there working this thing, because that is the way to put this pandemic completely behind us. And I'll be heading over to visit a vaccine site here in Cabarrus County soon. But thanks again, too, for the investments we are making in education. When I talk to CEOs across the world, the number one thing they talk to me about is do you have the people with the skills and the education to perform the jobs that I create? And so far, we've been able to say yes, but we have to keep investing. We have to invest in education from cradle to career, early childhood, K through 12 public schools, our great community colleges, uh, I think the best system in the country, and our great universities all come together to help create the kind of workforce that we need. And we also need to continue to project North Carolina as who we are, a state that values diversity, a state that values inclusion, and that the state that wants the kinds of businesses that we're going to bring to, to our great state. So I wanted to come and celebrate with you guys today and to celebrate this great cooperative spirit and these new good paying jobs that people are going to be able to get in this area. And I'm, I'm proud to you to, to be able to introduce to you today uh, your great mayor, Bill Dush. Mayor. What a great day. I'm just so happy to be here and be a part of this. And City Council has been working hard on this with us, and I'm thrilled to welcome Red Bull and Roush North America to Concord. We are one of the fastest growing communities in the state and even in the entire Southeast. The historic investment here of over 740 million speaks to the strength and the appeal of our city and our county. 
We are one of the best places to live and have a business. As I've always said, we like to live, work, and play here, and we're glad to bring others here with us. We could not be more excited with the companies that join the projects in energizing the former Philip Moore site. This is an amazing opportunity here with more than 1,000 acres still remaining to be developed. Our high quality of life, access to I-85, and business-friendly environment will continue to attract economic development and investment in our community. We look forward to the future expansions. As we plan for continued growth across the city, attracting high quality and good paying jobs is paramount. These are examples of what's going on. With today's announcement, we'll have over 400 new jobs with an average salary of over $50,000, which exceeds our county average of 41,255. I think that's really incredible. I think it's a round of applause for what we've all been doing. I want to thank the governor for coming down and being a part of this, not only today, but, but over the past uh, <laughs> many months as we've been doing this. Uh, the, sec the secretary, thank you. The county, Chairman Morris, is, is, is just great of what you've been doing, what we've all been doing, doing together on this. Um, and Concord EDC, thank you. It's uh, the calls I get, the calls we all get uh, quite often, and we go, okay, <laughs> let's, let's make it happen. Um, this would not also have been in partner uh, without our other partners. It's been a collective effort throughout our community. With all that we've done, it makes us stronger, it makes us move forward, and we're just excited to be here and working together. Again, our new businesses, welcome. We're glad to have you here, and we're glad you've chosen Concord as your home and look forward to more mutual opportunities in the future. So thank you all for being here today. I'm gonna pass it over to Chairman Morris. I think Mayor Dush did an excellent job of talking about the collaboration that occurs in this community. And it's, it's those kind of cooperation that, that causes us to be able to have these announcements. Uh, many of us in the room remember the expansion announcement in 1991 from Philip Morris that at that time was touted as the largest economic development uh, announcement in the state of North Carolina. None of us would have imagined that today we would be back here talking about that same property being the home to the largest economic development investment in the history of Cabarrus County. So we certainly have something to celebrate today. This is a reflection of years of hard work and resilience taken on by the people of Cabarrus County. Our people make the difference. And it's the people of Cabarrus County that will benefit from higher paying jobs that are close to home at salaries above the county average. This historic project will also help balance the burden of growth in this community. That balance is important to creating a quality of life that we will all benefit from. I want to thank Red Bull and Rauk for coming to our community. Your presence will help create a new future for Cabarrus with new career paths for our people and new opportunities for partnerships. Thank you for seeing the many reasons why America thrives here. We've got a lot to offer and that will only get better in time. And in good time, we'll look back on this day with appreciation for its place in history. It's now my pleasure to invite Paige Castrodale to the podium. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Chairman Morris and Mayor Dush, and of course, thank you, Governor Cooper and Secretary Sanders for being here. When we got this RFI for what we called Project Aquamarine almost a year ago, we were in the middle of the pandemic. Our team at the EDC were three working moms, we were still at home. Our kids were in class from the dining room table. Everything was virtual. Nothing about this was easy, and we did it. <laughs> so, Sam and Chanel, you guys are rock stars. I'm so thankful to do this work with you and to be on your team. 
And I know that our team is not just the three of us. It's, it's an extension of the City of Concord staff and the Cabarrus County staff and our utility partners and our friends at the Alliance and the EDPNC. You guys answered every phone call. You answered every question. When we asked the same question seven times, hoping for a different answer, you were patient with us. Um, and we appreciate that. And we celebrate this win with you. And because of you, we could not have done it without you. So thank you guys so much. We are going to um, serve you guys some lunch in celebration. We're so glad that you could be here with us today. We're going to let the media have some time up here. And so what we're going to ask as we close out um, is that you step into the social commons and start getting your lunch ready. Um, and then we'll, when we get this room ready for lunch, we'll, we'll have you guys back in here. So that's all we have. Thank you guys so much.